Scheduling properties control several things for your categories, including pass order and search depth. You can select Data Set, Schedule, Schedule Properties, or if you have the info bar open, right click on the Music tab and select Schedule Properties. A scheduling properties box will appear listing the categories in your data. The Pass column indicates the order the categories will schedule. To change this order, click on the gray pointer column for the category you wish to change. Drag it to the new location and let go. The Type column indicates whether the category is music or non-music. This is set up under Dataset Library Categories. Songs and Slots indicates the number in each. Songs would be the total number of songs in the category. The slots number changes when you packet two or more songs together. Both of these columns are updated automatically as you manage your database. Depth indicates how deep into the category Music Master can search for a song when scheduling. You can place a number or a percentage in this field. Max Fails indicates how many times the song can fail before waiting again for its turn in the rotation. Again, this can be a number or a percentage. If you use percentage, it will be a percentage of the slot's number. Max Skips is a number indicating how many times a song can go through the Max Fails process before it is placed at the top of the category for consideration before all other songs. There's one other thing to point out. The Advanced button would let you set up different parameters at different times. When you click on the button, you'll have a grid. You can now determine when a level is used. You can create up to nine levels of scheduling properties. Click OK when you are done.